Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is Return of the Living Dead Part 2. Now, this came out in 1988, and this, of course, is a sequel to the 1985 horror comedy film, The Return of the Living Dead. Now, technically, this was actually the first Return of the Living Dead movie I ever saw. I first saw this movie when I was 12 years old. It was on AMC. And I didn't see the beginning, though, but I caught most of it, and I remember liking it at that age, but, uh, really, this movie is nowhere near as good as the first one, though. It's certainly not a bad movie, but it's definitely not as good as the first one, and honestly, this one's kind of forgettable, to be honest. Now, the first Return of the Living Dead movie was a horror comedy, but it was almost like a perfect mix between both horror and comedy. This movie really is more of a comedy than a horror film. It's really a comedy with horror movie elements. Like, the film, it's a lot goofier than the first movie was. Now, the movie, it really does kind of come off as being really almost more of a remake of the first movie, only not as good. Now, I'm gonna give away a bit of a spoiler of what happened at the end of the first movie. Basically, the first movie ended where the military found out about the zombies, and they actually ended up nuking the town that the first movie took place in. But at the very end of that movie, you saw that the chemical got up into the atmosphere, and it started raining, and you assume that would start the whole thing all over again. So you assume that a sequel to Return of the Living Dead would be picking up where that ending left off, but this movie really does seem to kind of ignore that ending. So you could almost assume that maybe this movie is not set in the same continuity as the first one, but at the same time, though, a character from the first movie does show up in this movie. In the first movie, there was this war general who was looking for the barrels that contain the zombies, and that same character does show up in this movie. So it's kind of set in the same continuity as the first one, and kind of not at the same time. So, the movie begins where the military has all these barrels with zombies in them, and you could assume that maybe those are some of the same zombies from the first movie, who maybe somehow survived that nuke at the end of the first movie, but the military, they have the zombies in these barrels, and they have the barrels in the back of this truck, and one of the barrels fall falls off the back of the truck, and it ends up in this storm drain, and later on, this kid who's being chased by bullies gets chased into this storm drain, and he finds the barrel, and so do the bullies. The bullies think this is really cool, and they end up opening up the barrel, and all the chemical, the uh, 245 trioxin, gets released, and they get infected with it, and then the chemical gets into the atmosphere, and it rains on this cemetery, and basically because of the chemical, all the dead bodies at the cemetery start coming back from the dead as zombies, and from then on, the movie really does become more or less a remake of the first one. Now, in the movie, Tom Matthews, who played the character of Freddy in the first movie, in this movie he plays a character named Joey, and James Karen, who played the character of Frank in the first movie, plays a character named Ed in this movie, and they're supposed to be different characters, but basically the same thing that happened to the characters of Frank and Freddy in the first movie happens to these characters in this movie, and they actually have some fun with that, because there's a really funny line in the movie where Tom Matthews' character is, is like, you know, I swear we've done this before. The movie follows this little kid who was the first one to really find out about the zombies, him and his sister and this guy and the characters of Joey and Ed and Joey's girlfriend are now trying to survive as zombies take over the town. Now, 
Return of the Living Dead Part 2, it's not a terrible movie, but it's nowhere near as good as the first one, in my opinion. And honestly, I just find the film to be kind of forgettable compared to the first one. And the movie, once again, it's a lot goofier than the first one was. Like, there's a scene in this movie where an exercise video comes on and the zombies just start looking at it, and I swear in the background you see one of the zombies zombies actually start to dance to the exercise video, and the scene cuts away before you see it, but I'm pretty sure that scene was going to lead to those zombies basically imitating what they were seeing in the exercise video, and you also uh, had a scene where you saw a zombie that looked a lot like Michael Jackson did in his Thriller music video, so the film, it's a lot goofier than the first one was. Like, you also have a scene where one of the main characters stabs the head of this zombie with a screwdriver, and the zombie head is talking, saying, Get that damn screwdriver out of my head! So, that's really all I have to say about this movie. It's fun, but it's nothing great, though. Definitely, I would recommend the first one before I would recommend this one. So yeah, that's my review on Return of the Living Dead Part 2, and bye.